so hey everyone today i was doing counseling of one student and she have already taken clinical sas training okay it's been 7 or 8 months she have successfully completed her training but she has confusion a lot of confusions in clinical sas the base and advance was almost clear okay i'm not sure but as she told to me but in the clinical part especially in creating asdm adam table listing she was finding difficulty and the training institute from where she have taken the training they have suggested that for freshers jobs are less that's why you should take some fake experience from them itself okay from the training institute itself so now she was having two questions the first one was she don't have the clinical knowledge so she was not actively applying for interviews because of fear because she don't have the clinical knowledge complete knowledge and she was thinking that she needs to work in clinical so she should have 100% knowledge of the clinical part on top of that how to find jobs because as per the training institute they have suggested to get fake experience from them itself now few things or few suggestions i have given to her and the same things i'm going to explain you because this can be a common dilemma or questions for each and every one now let's suppose you have completed your base advance and clinical training in most of the cases what i found students successfully complete the base and advanced training but they found difficulty in the clinical part now the question is why a lot of students find difficulty in understanding or learning clinical part is it too much difficult or what is happening is the training institute is not giving the training properly okay from the training institute there can be x y z scenario but let me tell you about the clinical part the clinical part is something it is not something that in the training itself you will understand 100% but if you are understanding it till 60% or 70% that is enough let's suppose you have created one sdm data set one adam data set one table and one listing and you are clear with the concept of protocol crf specs okay acrf you know all those things if you are clear with the terms terminologies and at least one data sets or one table listing that is more than enough to crack enter you so if you are in that dilemma that i have completed my training but still i am finding that i am not sure about the clinical part don't have a fear guys if you have completed your base advance okay if you have 50% of pure knowledge in the clinical then you are ready to crack any interview okay why i'm telling this because long back 6 months back or 7 months back when i was training to student i was training mostly on the base and advance in the clinical part i was giving them the conceptual knowledge like what is protocol crf and i was training them on one table only but the students got selected in big companies as well like lab corp lily okay iqvia and they got good package as well around 9 lpa as well around 8 lpa as well around 5 lpa as well and i like i believe as in fresher this these are good packages so 6 months back or 7 months back companies were hiring before that like if you don't have much experience in the clinical but talking about now the market got competitive little now let me tell you why you should not have 100% knowledge of clinical let's suppose with the changing trend i have also started uh, giving training on the whole study or project okay now you can see in, even in my syllabus or course i'm training in all of the things which is required now the second question of the student who called me for counseling let's suppose somehow i get training and she was telling to again taking training from me okay i simply told her that if you are confident enough in the base advance if you have 50% knowledge of clinical then you should start looking for job okay then you should not again spend for training but if you feel you are not confident in the base advance itself and even in the clinical then you should take the training or you should revise the whole thing now coming to job scenario why the institute itself they told that for fresher jobs are less you should get a uh, fake experience okay why the institute itself suggested and the student was asking to me sir is there any job for fresher because the institute itself they have told me that jobs for freshers are less very less so you should get fake experience so with the first question hope you all are clear okay if you are having enough knowledge in the base advanced and clinical then you should not consider taking training again okay you should revise by your own now coming to second question okay is there any job for freshers for clinical sas programmer because some of the training institute itself they are suggesting to get fake experience from them itself when the student asked me this question okay i simply uh, told her that let's suppose this is the situation where you are finding let's suppose difficulty uh, in getting jobs and the institute are suggesting you to get fake experience now let me share a scenario what happened in real time 
because I connected to a lot of students who have taken fake experience. Some of them got caught, some of them didn't got hired because the knowledge they are having and the experience they were mentioning that was not matching. Okay, they are not having that much of knowledge and they were mentioning one, two year of experience and they are not having even fresh level of knowledge. So they are getting filled. Now there is a situation for training institute. Let's suppose a particular training institute or XYZ training institute is giving you fake experience. We'll come to that as well that how to find jobs and fresher as well if you're not getting. But let me clear out this one. So if your training institute or some training institute is suggesting you to get fake experience. Okay, so of course they are going to charge you some money, right? They are not going to do it for free and they are going to get some certificate or experience letter from their own company either they have built some dummy company or they will be having some type with some company and they will give the experience so what happened in any of the scenario let's suppose if they have given you a fake experience the training institute and the company is might be genuine but a dummy company they they have been doing this for a lot of time uh, like for a lot of student so what happened guys you got the fake experience and you have paid maybe 50,000, 40,000 or 1 lakh or maybe more than 1 lakh okay for fake experience you got the fake experience certificate now there are two factors or there are two persons who are dealing with this situation one is you the student another is training institute from training till getting fake experience you are upfront paying the money to training institute it means let's suppose you have spent 1 lakh or 2 lakh you got everything from the training institute let's suppose in the best case you got very good training and you got fake experience now once you start applying in a company so there can be a scenario you are getting job or you are not getting job because you are using fake experience or you are not having that much of knowledge so in that case what happened you might lose or you might end up with a frustration that I'm not getting interviews so in this situation. What will happen once you put experience now one or two or three year experience, you'll start getting a lot of interviews, but most probably chances are very high. You'll fail all the interviews and even in some of the interviews, they'll caught you that the knowledge you are mentioning that is not real. Actually, you are mentioning two or three years, but you don't have even knowledge as in fresher. So you will as a student, you will end up with frustration and demotivation. Why I'm telling you this because I have already trained to some students. They got already training from some other institute in Mumbai, in Hyderabad. Even the training institute have given them the fake experience certificate and even they have arranged some interviews as well. But unfortunately, the student didn't got selected. Why? because the knowledge they haven't given if you're mentioning one or two year of experience you should have that knowledge right how will you get that knowledge because you don't have that experience you are simply mentioning on paper let's suppose in the best case you have done some project but still how will you get that environment the real time is something real time you might have faced difficulties in some study you might have come across a situation that you got stuck so how do you get to know that like to whom you connected what problem you faced what are the difficulties are there and multiple things are there what client told to you if there was something correction in your data sets or in your table or listings from where did you got the feedback biostatistician or from the CDM team to whom you are connected if you're finding any difficulty in the data because if you're giving your interview as an experience they will not ask you silly question that tell me about functions or tell me about PDV or tell me about proc steps they will ask you the experience based questions it means like what you did in your last study it was the study of oncology cancer or what was exactly the study what you did how many table listings the contribution okay in short what you created over there what difficulties you have found over there and what are the things uh, like uh, you learned from the study and as in fresher when you started the job in that company so a lot of questions will be there that will be totally related to your experience from like uh, difficulties to solution to connection to whom you connected if you found difficulty how did you figured out the solution did you try something new a lot of questions will be there on the basis of experience so it becomes very difficult because for a fresher level the questions can be positions most probably these questions might be asked but for an experience level the questions cannot be positioned the interview is totally based on experience so guys now the question is okay now you might got the clarity let me tell you about the main point in any of the case you are paying the money to institute upfront so they are in win-win situation now you will try with fake certification might be you will get job but 90 percent i'm damn sure that you will end up with frustration you will not get the job but the training institute got their money right upfront you have paid them for training you have paid them for fake certification 
they got their money so they are in win win situation at the end of the day you will lose up with demotivation why because you are mentioning two years you are not having that knowledge so it's better to with the fresher level only get the fresher level training and work on some project as well work on some study as well create asrium adam table listing the real time things which is required so even as in fresher by seeing your skills they will select you it is not something mandatory yeah but unfortunately it will take time the journey can take time up to 8 months from the day you are learning and till the date you are getting job but i'll not suggest because you are making a win win situation for the institute and even you cannot complain to someone that i have taken fake experience and i'm not getting the job you cannot tell the institute to you are responsible you have given me fake certification but you haven't given me that much knowledge ultimately you will feel or you will end up uh, finding like i am someone who is not able to crack the interview you will end up with this concept and same way if you, if you are doing something wrong you will not complain tell to someone about this because you are someone who agreed upon this and this is happening openly in india guys this is happening now openly a lot of training institute upfront they are telling to students i think government should jump into this and make some regulations about this what i believe they can have students can have internships kind of the institute can provide them kind of project they can give the knowledge on project study or internship this thing is possible but upfront you are not giving them internship project or anything you are just putting one or two year of experience at the end of the day even the student will get the job they will find a lot of pressure they have to resign there might be this scenario as well now the question comes so how about fresher job how will get the jobs why there are only jobs for experienced person so guys i already made a video on this that why every job requires one or two year of experience i'll give the link as well in the description just have a look i'll tell you in this short what happened guys whenever you start looking for jobs any jobs on internet not only for clinical sas programmer okay on job portals like linkedin and nokri.com you will always find the vacancy that requires one or two year of experience so that one or two year of experience whenever we see we feel like okay there is vacancy but every vacancy is asking for one or two year of experience and we end up feeling okay that is my vacancy but guys that vacancy is for someone who is having one or two year of experience and the company is finding difficulty to find a candidate because a one or two year of experience guy will be trying to give some stability in the same company right if he is not jumping most probably people will jump from one company to another company just after one year as well two year as well but a lot of people they do not also the company will always seek for some people who can jump the company after one or two year because they require because people change the companies every one or two or three year in this trending roles or demanding roles and let's suppose a one year experience guy will be someone who will be already having one year of experience he might be working in some company xyz company right so what will happen even he got selected in the y company so what will happen he need to serve the notice period for one two or minimum three months okay he cannot join the next company before three months or two months so for the two or three months the next company might be have to keep open that post okay because even sometimes what happen the candidate got selected okay company have selected one year experience guy now he will he will be released from the current company after two or three months but sometimes what some candidates do they will give another interview and again an another interview uh, they will ask for more hike and they will not join the first company they will join the company which is giving them the highest pay that is very common okay so that's why they have to keep the post open for two or three months most probably until this the candidate is joining the company in the fresher case what happened in the fresher vacancies company put the vacancies on portal or on their internal websites and quickly they get the candidate mails a lot of mails and a lot of cvs and for freshers the companies knows that most probably this candidate will give the interview on the date they have decided and most probably they will take the interviews for a lot of people in most of the case the selected candidate will join the company they will not jump here and there and they will not go for another company they will be surely joining the company and that is very clear because freshers are someone who are actively looking for job so they don't jump here and there so most probably what happen so in the fresher scenario once they get the interviews they will quickly give the interview and if they crack they will quickly join the companies but this is not the case with experienced person so most probably fresher interviews what will happen the companies have to shut down those openings quickly okay because a lot of people have applied and they are sure about it they are going to join for sure so they will put the vacancy down but in experience uh, vacancies like 
they have to revolve around for three months or two months because the candidates are not joining most probably there is a buffer period of two or three months that's the case so guys hope you got some clarity if you find this content useful do share with your connections who are actively looking for a job in SaaS or going to start their journey in SaaS i have already made a lot of videos on SaaS on my channel for the people who are looking for jobs for the people who are going to start their preparation or for the people who are going to prepare for their interview okay all types of video on SaaS i have already made and uploaded on my channel further videos as well according to your comments according to your demand i'll make it and i am training on SaaS as well for that also you can connect to me so if you find this content useful do share with your connections and let's meet in the next video till the time bye bye everyone